Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the High Five Podcast, High Five After Dark. I'm your host, Malcolm from Malcolm and Mary, and today we're going to be checking out a beautiful product off the shelves of High Five. Um, this time around, I'm going to be doing a second preview. I am going to be doing the Budco Bangers. I was so excited to try this at the treehouse, but I was also so excited to be in the treehouse that I feel like my opinion was a little bit skewed. Um, as you recall, we did not give this the greatest of great uh, ratings. Um, and of course, this is the also the Lost My Keys. That is what strain this is. Um, this is the pack of joints. And like I said, it, it could have been better from what I remember. I was just very mood enhanced already. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Um, these are infused with hash, and this is a five pack. So we're going to go ahead and see what this is talking about. Once again, it's skunky. It's definitely skunky. It's got a cheesiness to it for sure. Skunky, it's got a nice little cheesy, um, almost like a cheese powder, like a mac and cheese powder packet um, from a, what do you say? Um, like Kraft mac and cheese almost. And then maybe like a woody note. You know what I'm saying? Woody note is the only thing I could really think of for the third. So I would say skunky, like a cheesy powder and then like a woody note. But now, I always tend to think hash has that more high note, you know, to let you know like, wow, this is infused with something. Usually comes across as a little bit minty or like a little bit of like a, you know, almost like a mint grass, like a minty pine. Um, and this is not giving me that immediately. So that's something that is left to be desirable. So I would say no hash, no. You know what I'm saying? Of course we have our sample forms as always. Gotta love it, it never ends. Um, because it only gets better. Um, no hash scent. Um, and let's go ahead and see what this is. See how this is rolled. Now the butt code joints, if you remember correctly from the podcast, you see the creases on the bottom, but not really a lot at the top. And I had trouble smoking it because of that as well. So right now, actually what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna shimmy the slightest bit on the top. One, two, three. And now, and look, I haven't even pushed this up. I don't know if you could see this. You could kind of see there's a lip already. Like I haven't even started doing anything with this. And there's already an overhang. Like that's all paper. I don't know why these filters are so loose, but nevertheless, see this tip? You see that front hole? Literally the same size as the pen, works perfectly. We're gonna go ahead and just push the filter in. Wow, this is ridiculous. There's so much space. Like that is ridiculous. You see like that's mad space. For a bottom of a joint, bro, that's mad space. Literally so much space. Um, I don't know what kind of papers these are. They're definitely not raws. Um, and once again, this is not Budco's fault. This is not Budco's fault, but maybe try other papers, just saying. And I think there's a reason why I like raw so much. And this is one of them. And we're going to go ahead and grab some scissors and cut this bad boy down to size. Um, big shout out to everybody smoking papers, period. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know I rock with everybody smoking blunts, too. But you ain't never going to catch me smoking a blunt. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never going to catch me smoking a blunt. Um, let's see. We do it for the purists, you know what I'm saying? For those who are wondering, like, oh, well, Malcolm, why, why not? Why not smoke a blunt? I don't care for the necessary high that tobacco has to offer. And I know people are like, but you're not smoking tobacco inside the blunt. And it's like, yeah, but the blunt wrap itself is tobacco. It holds for a heavier um, experience. You are introducing that high to a cannabis high as well. It's two. That's why people are like, oh, I smoke blunts because they get me higher. 
they don't get you higher. They're just adding the tobacco high. <laughs> Your weed is doing the same thing it always does, even in paper form or glass form. Super mild dry pull. Not a lot of flavor in the dry pull at all. Um, not a lot of flavor for dry pull. Beautiful. Um, I do I kind of get a little bit of like, I feel like a little bit of grassiness. You know what I'm saying? Like, 10%, nothing too crazy. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, and try this out. I, I'm actually really excited to try this again because like I said, I wish I had done the shimmy method more from the bottom filter side than the top side, but I tried it the last time. And that really hindered the, uh, the smoking experience because for the first like five, 10 hits, I didn't really get much out of it. And I was irritated because Budco usually has decent products. So maybe that'll also bled into me not having the best experience with this um, product. So let's see. And as you can see, that was damn there two weeks ago. And still I had four left. I didn't even touch it since then, for real. That's how you know. And I will say this, immediately it's catching the ember very, very well, very, very well. Um, it is smoking, teeing, you know what I'm saying? Doing everything it's supposed to be doing. So that could be a sign that there's a little bit of hash in here. Of course, hash and concentrate definitely help hold that ember and things of that nature. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the way I had to do it before. Yeah. Definitely getting smoke right away. It's fairly smooth. Um, it's not giving me really like a potency call for anything like that necessarily. I can handle it for the most part, you know what I'm saying, everything about it. You know what I'm saying? This is pleasant. This is pleasant so far. You know what I'm saying? Nice little white ashes so far. You know what I'm saying? Not mad at that. Okay. The flavor is floral. Maybe 5%. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, maybe like 30% sweet. But it's got a pepperiness. It does. And I don't know that I'm, it's a deter, it's like offensive. It's not, um, but maybe like a little, you know, a little 30% sweet, maybe like 40% peppery. And also I'm going to try to do this. What I've done is just cut the filter in half, right? So same filter. Sometimes cutting the filter in half Yeah, definitely. Sometimes when you cut the filter, it helps not only shorten the distance of the ember where the smoke is to your mouth, but it helps regulate how much smoke is going into your lungs with how much ease. Kind of like smoking out of a small bong. If you smoke out of a bong this big, you don't really get to inhale that hard. You smoke out of a bong that's this big, you got to, and by the time the smoke gets to you, you're like already at full capacity. There's not that much oxygen left. You know what I'm saying? So it's more prone to, you know, be a more difficult smoking experience. that has definitely done the trick. I'm much more happy with the amount that I'm receiving for the amount of tension I'm doing in my pull. Um, you know, cause it's like, why should I have to change how I'm smoking? This is a joint. 
I want to inhale how I always inhale and get the same amount of smoke. So that's just a little quick trick. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Damn near in half. For all I, for all I care, this is a waste of paper from that, um, whoever this company is. Got a joint afro though. Little tiny, tiny, tiny resin ring. <coughs> yeah, look at that. I gotta do that again. The French inhale is definitely more sweet for sure. Definitely more sweet. It's giving me floral sweet with some woody notes. That was a very impressive joint afro. It really was. That was good. Now, smoking experience wise, I'm enjoying it. I would not be mad if this was passing me. Like, for instance, we're at right a party or a function. Hey, what's up, Malcolm? I'm going to try hit this. Yeah, bro, I got you. I would say, what is this? Then get the answer. Probably hit it one more time. I would say, thank you, fool. This is nice. It's exactly as I would live with that. I would say, this is nice. Now, when it comes to <laughs> this pack and the price point, I actually think when it comes to infused joints in a pack, this is pretty middle tier, maybe even lower middle tier. So... Because of that, nice is good. We love them. You know what I'm saying? Nice is fine with that. You know what I'm saying? Um, Got to write that down. Now, nice might be fine for the price point, but nice doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to... But nice doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be a... a how should I say? Nice might be fine for the price part, but it doesn't mean it's going to be an option. Immediately, and once again, this is the Budco banger, is the lost my keys. Immediately, I, I feel like, especially for something that's infused, I'm having to smoke too much in order to get the desired effects that I'm craving. And although I'm enjoying the experience, um, I'm not wowed by any aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? It's super smooth and I'm still not even wowed by that. Um, you know, it's nice to have that. Once again, it's nice, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm definitely choosing something else, especially in the realm of free rolls. Crazy. You know, it's funny. I always say, well, we got over 150 options. And I'm talking about flour. Like, I don't even be talking about the amount of strains in the pre-roll section is ridiculous. It's just, just damn near the same. Same amount. It's probably 150 different pre-roll strains. You know what I'm saying? From different farms. Like, it's ridiculous. Shout out to High Five. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Vancouver, Washington, everybody in the Kansas industry. Shout out to Steven as, Stevenson as well. Stevenson High Five. Uh, I ain't even never been there. That's the fucking job. Big shout out. Shout out Mavs Tap House. Shout out. Um, what's the other one? Oh, we're not doing the other one. But shout out to Mavs Tap House. 
know what I'm saying? Oh, I see. Uh, shout out to everybody and join. It's important. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate y'all. You know, we can't do it without y'all. Come on now. I'm going number one. Uh, um, and yeah, to all my coworkers and colleagues, bitch, shout out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jam on Hawthorne. Come on now. Shout out to Champagne Poetry. Come on. You see the hat. You know where I just came from. Come on now. But yeah, this is, I mean, as far as the experience and the effects, well, we got to get into it. We got to make a detail. Well, I would never just leave you with a it's nice. I would never do that. Anyway, there we go. Because we can't, we can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Uh, can't do that. Uh, uh can't do it um but as far as the effects in the middle of um when i was talking before how generic is that anyways i leaned back as i went to go and say my next piece that's what my body wants to do my body definitely is more in the mood to kind of chill out and kind of slump it i am still very conscious so i'm going to choose to be like this i can see myself better you can see me better the lighting is better um, you know, you can probably hear me better. You know, I'm able to, you know, project with the proper diet, you know, for him. Um, but um, I feel like it's definitely a lower back kind of sensation. And my lower back, and even going into my upper back a little bit, is what is most at work right now, trying to stay upright, you know what I'm saying, in my core. And I feel that. I literally feel that. Um, so that's a really nice effect. Um, it's a little awkward because sitting up right now doesn't even feel right. I'd definitely rather be in a sofa or something I could, you know, slay that, like kind of sit down. I have like little foldable dome chairs. Better than I can tell you. I shall show you. See, like, you know what I'm saying? Look at one of these, you know what I'm saying? And it sits like this. So my back and my, well, can I actually do this? Nah, this is funny. Oh, I can't do it. Can I? <laughs> I'm dead. This is, I mean, I can, but I can't. <laughs> That's bad funny. This is like when people put, this is like when people put seats on skateboards. <laughs> oh, that's great. You gotta love it. Um, but anyways, yeah. Let's see. How did I have this? I know I see the red in the shot at the top of the I'm gonna look at the shot. What's your favorite hot sauce? I know I'm not, I'm not, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. I don't really think about it as hot sauce though. I think of it more of like a vinegar. Tapatio is more of like a vinegar. I use it like vinegar, not really like hot sauce. Uh, my favorite hot sauce is Red Devil. I love the Red Devil. Shout out to New York and every state that sells Red Devil. Shout out to Pathmark. I don't think Pathmarks exist anymore. Shout out to Nikki Two Times. Me and Nikki, I got a guy named Nikki Two Times. His name is my guy from Jersey. I'm um, big shout to Jersey. Yeah, Nikki Two Times. He said this. Somebody was spitting hot fire bars over a speaker. Nikki Two Times said, "I think he just said Pathmark." He was like, my, "Hey Malcolm, do you, do you know what do you know what Pathmark is?" He said, "I said Nikki Two Times. Do I know what Path? I said I'm from the middle of Long Island, New York. There was literally a Pathmark on my." Car. Corner. He was like, "Yo, I haven't heard of that place in so long." It's like, I don't know if they've ever had Pathmark out here either. Y'all may have as well. Um, but yeah, it was like <laughs> the Walmart for Black people. <laughs> you gotta love it. They had a whole do rag section. It was great. Oh, it was great. Anyways, um, big shout out to everybody wearing a do rag. Period. Not a rocket job. Um, but yeah. Not Tapatio in the screen, <clears throat> but still shout out to Tapatio. I mean, 
I see. Uh, I like them for my breakfast burrito. So I'll be very. What's my favorite type of breakfast burrito? <laughs> well, I'm glad you have. Five, four. No I'm kidding. Um, two eggs scrambled hard, bacon, spinach, and bell pepper with cheddar cheese. Extra sharp cheddar cheese, but not too much. You know what I'm saying? That's how I'm rocking. And if you want to put hash browns in it, you can put hash browns in it. But it's got to be super crispy. It's got to be super, super sassy. 100%. Muito frito. Um, as they may say in Portuguese. Um, but, yeah, so far. I mean, it's, it's a chill high. That all was me talking about sitting back in a chair. Literally that entire ramble stemmed from that. We're very prone to ramble. I think that this is something that is incredibly creative. You know what I'm saying? Um, very, very, very uplifting. You know what I'm saying? I'm super uplifting. Um, you know, I feel it in my chest. I feel good. You know what I'm saying? I definitely feel good. You know, it's that I'm noticeably higher than I, you know, when I started. You know what I'm saying? I am under the influence. You know what I'm saying? Um, my breaths are a little bit heavier. Um, I keep saying um, but once again, this may be a no to enjoying the vibrations of my voice. It's like soothing those uplifting tendencies. You know what I'm saying? It's a domino effect. You know what I'm saying? One thing is causing another thing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I really do. It feels great. You know what I'm saying? It feels great. My voice feels like a like a rumble, but very velvet. You know what I'm saying? I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm enjoying being on the podcast. I'm enjoying looking. I find that when I need to think the most, I tend to look away from the screen um, to try and help and put all my attention into what I'm thinking and not splitting my attention between how I look and how what my lighting is, and then also trying to think about what I'm thinking. Um, so... I'm enjoying that aspect of it, but I'm also enjoying looking at the screen. I'm also enjoying, you know what I'm saying, getting to inter, getting to understand not just how I sound, but how it may appear, how it may come off, and how I look while I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because all these things play together. It's the delivery. You know what I'm saying? It's a delivery. Especially for somebody, like I said, I'm from Long Island, I talk with my hands all the time. Um, Shout out to the feds, being the feds. I got that, but they can't give a shout out. But anyways, um, <laughs> but um, but yeah, I mean, this is nice. Once and once again, it's still nice. It's, and it's it's literally eight. It's eight twenty. It's eight twenty p.m. right now. Like it's Tuesday. I'm definitely gonna smoke something else before I go to sleep. Now, if I ate a lot of food. Would I possibly be full enough and satisfied enough to go to sleep without having to smoke anything else? No, because I'm not necessarily hungry. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say this is really making me hungry. I did have a protein shake literally probably like 15, 20 minutes before I got on here. Um, and I was hoping that that was going to be enough time. But, you know. I feel like if something makes me hungry, it's going to make me hungry. I've had, I've literally eaten, smoked something, and then got hungry again and went after it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so um, what's, what's one of those strains? I'm pretty sure Spiked Punch is one of those strains for me. Um, but there's another one. Maybe this, maybe this, was it, maybe, it might have been Star Killer. One of them just, just from, well, Blueberry Period. You know what I'm really. Um, but yeah, this is a very, like, it's a very descriptive high. And I think it's only prone to ramble because of that. You know what I'm saying? I want to, this is where I'm painting the picture. Like Bob Ross. Literally, the other, another, like, two episodes, can't remember. Shout out to the 100th episode. You see it? Look. You gotta love it. Kind of love it. I never really would have imagined, but 
oh, it's just I'm having a good time. Life is life is great when you're having a good time. I'll let you know that right now. Shout out to everybody having a great time in life. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a thing. Um, and it can be done. Why? Where there is a will, there is a way. And if you may not have that will, work on it. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Uh, God, 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 God. But anyways, um, let's jump into these desired effects. This is more of a head high versus a body high. I'm going to say this is both. So go the ones, definitely in the body, I got to give it another one. On the head, I'm pleasantly high, but I don't know that I'm like hindered in any way, shape, or form. I feel like my response might be, you know, a little bit more unbothered in nature and a little more lax in nature um, to any whatever came at me. But I feel like the body high is what would maybe worry me the most. It wouldn't be about my social. Um, ability or creative ability at all um that was really good um but anyways um i don't know if i have used a reference like that before that was great um it's just uplifting 100 percent something that vibes i don't know sure. um and then as far as sedating this is definitely sedated you know i got the heavy eye vibe you know what i'm saying but i'm still just having a good time you know what i'm saying the sedation's not taken over the experience. Um, and these were half grim joints. I still got enough left. Definitely enough left. And it was burning decent. You know what I'm saying? At, at certain points, I feel like it was moving a little bit quickly, but I got a very good amount of hits out of this, as, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Like I said, I put it out to talk to y'all. And then look at this. Beautiful. Anyways, like whole ass pills, <laughs> ash pills. You gotta love it. Um, it's just a function, it's just relaxing. I mean, I feel like if I had a lot of my mind, I would still have a lot of my mind. You just say, well, Malcolm King, do you have a lot of your mind? women and that's really it you know what i'm saying so hell no i'm um, it's great you know what i'm saying and the life is great you set yourself up for success in life you'd be so surprised so surprised some people think you win at life when you make a million dollars huh you win in life and you're happy set yourself up to be happy and you shall be happy <laughs> change your environment um gotta love it oh I lock this at 26 is crazy. Nevertheless, um, it's a functional eye. I feel like it depends on what you're doing. So because of that, I have to say it's not. Um, especially if I were to continue and finish this. This is a roach. You, know what I'm you see it, this is a roach. But mind you, there might literally be mm. All right, ready? Here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna see how we're gonna see how I can do this. Um, I'm gonna say a good seven hits. I'm gonna. I'm really, I want to say eight, but I I feel like eight might be a little bit pushing it. I think there's a good seven hits in this. Here we go. Lucky number seven, Sean Nicholas Cage. I don't know if that has anything to do with Nicolas Cage. I don't remember. I don't know what movie that is, but anyway. Still shout out to Nicolas Cage. Oh, the bird. Here we go. And I'm going to do it with my eyes closed. Hold on, I got to move closer to the screen. Because if I'm looking at it, then that's cheap. Y'all yeah, know that about the cheap, y'all. Come on now. Here we go.
How many is that? <laughs> One, two, that was three. Okay, that was three. This is four. Here we go. My hands are covering it so I can't see it, literally. <laughs> well, I just saw it a little bit there. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm closing my eyes now. Here we go. I promise I haven't seen it, but here we go. All right. Did I just take four? Yes. This is five. Here we go. Still smoke. Here we go. Still a smoke. That was six. This is seven. Here we go. Oh, there's way more. <laughs> you know what it is? I didn't think about it. This is a hash infusion joint. But now it's at the end of the joint, all the resin. There's a large, a lot of resin buildup now. So the lower it's getting, the slower it's burning. These are actually some of my favorite parts of joints. Which is why you can't let a roach like this sit for too long because it'll get stale. And it'll still hit, but it's not gonna be as great of an experience. This is like the caviar of the joint. Or it can be. It should just burning to the very last second. Wow. I'm de I'm dead ass puffing on this. No, it's not. And it still wasn't even done. I had a little crunch to it. But yeah, immediately the first thing I do, as I just saw, like, you know, that kind of stance is definitely more of a like, how, how chill can I, how much chillness can I get away with being? How low can my eyes, without me really giving it away? You know what I'm saying? Or without me really being slow. You know what I'm saying? What's the laziest posture I can get away with? As you can see, I'm yawning. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely in that more, you know, maybe drowsier, you know, kind of um, energy. Um, I will say this is good for lack of that. It definitely will. Um, I feel like a lot's changed since I went back to that joint. That little tiny well, shit. I I took twenty five hits, like <laughs> of course of the of the of the caviar hint. Well, we love that. Um, so I might label this consumer friendly. You know what I'm saying? Just because of how great it burned. You know what I'm saying? Um, and don't just remember. We got rid of all that paper, all that paper, you know what I'm saying? Shimmying it down and pushing up that filter and still burn like a champ and burned better. Um, didn't run once, didn't canoe once, you know what I'm saying? That was a great job. Well, joint afros, you know what I'm saying? It's great, that was great. And once again, this is the Buddy Coat Bangers. I lost my keys. Or lost my keys. Yeah, lost my keys. Hash and fuse joints. You know what I'm saying? It's a little yaya bop. Um, shout out to um, Shawnee Bin Laden. 
and Big Yaya. Shout out to the whole um, NY Canada they see you. Um, also, a uh, big shout out to Diora. Come on now. Shout out to Scholar Rock and A. Fetty, but I could have told you that already. Come on now. They did, because you knew that already. Well, Paul Sexy went up. Shout out to Black as well. You know what I'm saying? Gotta love it. This is my friend, Shout the Trendy Trendy on the track too. Shout out to Trendy Trend. Um, but yeah, Scholar Rock, what that was saying. Come on now. You know, I'm blowing it I'm blowing down for him right now. And, and also, like I said, I haven't got to smoke something because RIP Ness. I'm a live one for Ness, period. Um, I'm gonna get into that slur mint from Boggy Boo. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna, we're gonna dive into that. I'm not gonna do an episode on it because every time, I promise y'all, if I'm one here, this is the first smoke from sobriety, 100%. It must be because undivided attention. It's the name of the game, but nevertheless, it seems as though. It is time for a scale of one through ten. Would you buy this again? And remind the people what it was. Um, and I have the Bud Coke Bangers. Gaga BB. Um, and these are the hash infused joint pack. Um, and the strain is the Lost My Keys. Um, they don't list the lineage on here. I feel like it's. Let me actually look. Let me actually look it up. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I know it's, I know it's, um, where's my bike, but let's see. Leafly really has that are you over 21 shit. Like anybody's going to click that. Yes. Like, come on now. Hate that. Let's see. Um, they have no information on it. Thanks, Leafly. <laughs> so irritating. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I would. They're giving me literally everything except for the lineage. Wow. They're literally giving me everything except the lineage. Wow. I want you to see, the, okay, ready? Listen to this. And they literally are not listing. They don't list the genetics. They, <laughs> this company, I'm on, what is this, all bud? Askgrowers.com. I'm on askgrowers.com. These motherfuckers list the cannabinoid, the THC, the CBD, the effect, the side effect, the flavor, the strain cannabinoids, THC, CBD, CBC, CBG, CBN, THCV, lost my key strain information. They list the effects, the side effects, the common usage, the taste, the terpenes, the breeder color, the strain origin. Oh, okay, there it is, unknown. I was about to be so blown if that wasn't included. It was just very, very tiny. There you go. Because then it keeps going. Flowering time, harvest time, flowering time, height, indoor, height, outdoor, yield, indoor, yield, outdoor, key, lost my keys, terpene profile, carine, piney, myrcene, camphene, humulene, limonene, linalol, valentine, terpenoline, carophylline. Um, lost my keys are terpene and taste chemistry. That is beautiful. I've never seen this like this before so this is a lost my keys terpene and taste chemistry and it's it basically shows which terpenes are being like it's basically showing which terpenes are being uh are most present with each other i i i feel like so i there's a lot of like i said it was cheesy i definitely said it was cheesy it's saying that the linalol plays with the cheese and the diesel and linalol also play and the peach and lice linalol also play. And it's saying the carophylline doesn't, so the pepper doesn't really mix with the lavender in this strain, but it definitely mixes with the plum and the diesel aspects and the peach aspects. And you, prime example. I said, 
skunk cheesy powder. These two, I could see the powder coming up as a little bit lavendery. Let's see. Let's see again. We got more. Let's see. In. It's def it's definitely cheesy. But I feel like the maybe doughiness or that makes it a little bit more cheese powder could be the lime, could be lavender essential. Um, and maybe even if it's just a little bit, you know, it could just be a little bit. The lime alone also has. Once again, the linalol in the middle there also has peach and diesel in it. So it's not just lavender I'm smelling. It's going to be lavender, peach, and diesel mixed with that cheese. You know what I'm saying? Um, along with the limonene mixed in with the peach and the caroline with the other You know what I'm saying? So it's a never-ending roller coaster in this period. Um, but that's, this is really cool. I've never seen terpenes kind of displayed like that. I think like that, but I've never seen it put like that. Um, and I wonder if they're, I wonder if they're able to get this kind of math. Number one, I wonder if it's accurate, but I wonder if the, the, I wonder the reason that they're able to do this is because certain essential oils bind with other essential oils and can or can't do it like with other ones. Um, I wonder if that's the case. I wonder if any time line alone is present. Can it only bind with peach, cheese, and diesel terpenes? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Why is it that these are connecting to these? You know what I'm saying? And in other strains, vice versa. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that every strain has these terpenes. Of course, they don't. But it's very interesting. I've got a look at this um, website a little bit more. Yeah, because that's that's interesting. It's really, 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 really interesting. Nevertheless, like I said, and then that's more of what this is. It's a very passionate high. I don't even remember what effect I was talking about last. Probably that it was non-functional. Or actually, I said it was time to go to the scale of the monthly temperature by then again. Um, this is a very creative. I had to circle that a thousand times. Um, yeah, prone to ramble. Now that I finished the joint, I'm definitely under the influence. I think I could definitely go to sleep. Um, yeah. I mean, I enjoy that about it. Is this enough for me to buy it again? No. Is this enough for me to buy? No. no. Come on. Um, this is a pack. And it's not even that flavorful. Like the strawberry Gary from everywhere. You can give me a thousand back to that. Um, you know, that type of resounding flavor, you and I'll never get all the company. It's ridiculous. I, that's like one of the really the only strains of like really strawberries I go get. Like if you blindfolded me, I might not say it was wheat. I might say it was like a strawberry, maybe tea or something, you know what I'm saying? But I might not say it's tea. I wonder if I don't see a lot of strawberry tea. Hmm, very interesting. Um yeah, interesting. Because I like strawberries. Or like raspberry tea. Also, I you never see me drinking tea, period. Um, shout out to the House of Tea in, I don't know, but yeah, shout out to them and the owner. Um, he told me to come in, he told me to come and rock with him, but I never got the chance to go out there. <laughs> they got a lot of tea though. Shout out to Simon Logos in Beaverton. Shout out, yeah, shout out the whole Beaverton, Central Beaverton area. Shout out to Beaverton Swaggett. Go and get the best Indian food of your life. Go to Beaverton Swagger. Big shout out to Lakshmi, Julio, I see food. Shout out to Victor, Jonathan. Shout out to Diane, Saeed, if he's still there. Saeed would be calling me Puto right now. Um, 
Um, yeah, shout out to Shlinik, Shlinik, I see you. Um, I think I'll see you. Before. And then, of course, Lisa, you know, seeing Gian, Adi, see you. Shout out to Molly. Um, hopefully, Molly's still there. But nevertheless, um, I mean, I'm going to give this, this is a little bit of a dramatic high, too, which is great. You know, we do love that. I mean, this fits in my, it, I wouldn't buy this, but it fits in my repertoire. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not upset that I have it. You know what I'm saying? It's the way it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it has a, like a little bit of like a brat side to it. You know what I'm saying? Which is, you know, it's nice. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta, you know, I don't know, be truer than true if that's possible. And in the most New York term way, I can put that. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I feel good. I feel good. I don't really know what I'm going to do next, but it feels like I'm going to go lay down. 100%. Definitely going to go lay down. Um, I, wonder, I, don't, I mean, hopefully I'm able to upload this and write this form. Because <laughs> that does not seem like the most appetizing thing. I feel like I might even start making food before I go and actually execute that um but yeah one to ten hmm. i give this like hmm. trying to factor in the price too okay i would say like Well, if I have to think about it, yeah, then it's an 8.5. I'd give this an 8.5. Not only is it not a 9, I could think of a couple of reasons why it's not a 10. And I can also think of a little bit more in the aspect of the flavor. Um, the smell was good, but the flavor. So this is an 8.5. But the potency definitely is there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at it. I'm up snack. This is a couch food. Gotta write that. Because it really is. I just noticed I still have this fucking chair on top of this other chair. It's a mad fun. If that doesn't say something about the line, all over the place. Um, Well, it's it's couch weed, but it's all over the place mentally though. That's the best way I can put that. Um I'm just about to circle glass. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely stony. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely a stony mental eye, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, which is nice. It's not nice because I gotta do this goddamn for me. Um, <laughs> but you know, for just like Molly gagging and BSing, I mean this is nice. It's a very lotly gaggy. Let's see. I love that lollygag is a word. What does it mean to lollygag? Let's see. Information at the world of my fingertips. Why is that in my phone? All right, let's see. Lollygagging meaning. <laughs> lollygag. L O L L Y G A G. I will, that's funny. There we go. No pun intended. Boom. That was good. I did it with the phone too, as well. There's a lot of great things that just happen. Anyways, um, it's a verb. Informal <laughs> North American. It means spend time aimlessly or idle. He sends her to Arizona every day, January, to lollygag in the sun. Another word is dawdle. We're lollygagging along. <laughs> lollygag. Spend time aimlessly or idle. Interesting. 
<laughs> the next thing says is lolly wait oh sorry the next thing says is lollygagging a british word <laughs> the, the, the answer is the word lollygag is an american invention <laughs> a slang term that sometimes oh that's mad funny that's mad funny the internet is undefeated people are undefeated y'all are undefeated it's also scary because they're listening but People are mad funny. Okay, but it seems as though this has definitely brought us to a close. I will say this is a fun hunt. Yeah, it is. It's a fun hunt. And this shows that it wasn't just the beach house. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so snapped. This shows that it wasn't just a tree house. Um, you know what I'm saying? I had such a good time. Um, but yeah, I'm still feeling that same kind of good vibe and great energy that I was feeling there. I mean, it's great. It's just great. Um, let's see. Fun hunt for sure. So I'm going to write this down. Maybe it won't be difficult for me to finish this sample from once I get off of this. But I do, like I said, I do see food in my near future, 100%. Um, but yeah, it seems as though this has brought us to a close. I want to give a big shout out to everybody smoking weed. Remember to stay high and humble. And we'll see y'all next time. Peace. Peace out, y'all.